unknown disease. And uh, so when she was to the point where she was unconscious, they wanted to pull the plug on her and let her expire. And her father demanded that they do another MRI on her brain because he said it has to be the brain because she's lost all this function. And to their amazement, the MRI showed holes all over her brain, looked like Swiss cheese. And the holes are quite large, as big as the end of your thumb, the whole last digit of your thumb. And one of them was as big as your whole thumb. And this is what, of course, had something that had been eating away at her brain. So they did a biopsy and found that she had a, picked up a parasite there from... Sounds like it. I was going to say, something got in there. Yeah, being properly cooked food. And... So they biopsied it, found out the parasite, and, and gave it the proper drug for it, which killed the parasite, which was enough to actually uh, reduce the swelling to where she could breathe on her own. Then uh, they said, well, you might as well take her home because it's costing you a huge amount of money to keep her here in the hospital. Just hire a nurse and keep her at home. And uh, so we took her home. She was unconscious and still had no, you know, no movement. All she could do was breathe. He put her on the magnetic pad, the strongest one we make, we call it the super bed. And six months later, this lady is back practicing chiropractic. This was incredible to the doctors. So they did another MRI and found that all those holes were filled in with new brain. You see, the brain can recover because you're making new cells every day. And all we did was sped up that process and enhance the process. This really tells you the power of magnetism. There should be a lot more work done on discovery of its benefits. Recently, we found that we can take people with congestive heart failure in a couple of weeks of them sleeping in the, pet, in the MME. This is the large machine. You can double the ejection fraction of the heart. We've treated people that come in with, on oxygen three days, and they're off oxygen. So this is a big, big thing for regeneration of tissue. Uh, we've now treated 15, and 12 out of the 15 had a double ejection fraction. So this gives you a little idea of the regenerative ability of this. You see, your heart is full of uh, stem cells, so all we're doing is activating them and making them work much faster. What about a patient that has had radiation and chemo and they're violently sick from the treatments and they can barely function? Would the magnetic bed or the MME be of help? Well, the magnetic bed is great for detoxing, and we haven't even talked about that. We had another study done showing that actually we quite dramatically increase the amount of tox toxic mercury and lead and cadmium, all these things coming out in the urine from people just sleeping on the magnetic bed one night. And there was a study presented at North American Academy of Magnetic Therapy uh, that people, they found that people could get a lot more radiation uh, and chemotherapy if they used the magnetic bed because the body was able to recover and detoxify faster. And I have a question. Does the accelerated detoxing of these horrible chemicals like lead and mercury and arsenic moving through and out the kidneys, does this put too much pressure on the kidneys? We haven't found that. As a matter of fact, we usually use a, a chelating agent. That's a binding agent, so the kidneys recognize it as something that doesn't want, and so it goes out in a hurry without causing a great deal of recycling back and forth. What do you mean when you say you use a chelating agent? We use something like chlorella or DMSA or DMPS. Okay. See, uh, DMPS and, and DMSA are methylated sulfurs is what they are, so they have a high affinity for metals. Are you on that every day too? Nope. Because you're sleeping on the highest level goss bed, right? Right. Well, once you clean it out and you measure that by doing urine analysis, the long and the short of it is that if you collect your urine overnight and you've taken DMSA, uh, for instance, a one capsule before you go to bed, 500 milligrams, and you collect it overnight and you send it off to doctor's data and they'll do an analysis of that and tell you how much toxic metal came out and they'll, of each of the types of toxic metals. And if you show uh, in a very, very low range, you know that you've cleaned your body out. So really, 
probably until most of us get this type of magnetic bed, we should be taking DMSA. It works for the rest of the body uh, to a large extent and works uh, pretty good. But to get it out of the brain, you need uh, the magnetic bed. Now, there's uh, some uh, chelating doctors that are using a lot of uh, IV, vitamin C. And EDTA, right? EDTA doesn't touch mercury. That's a myth that anybody tells you that it takes out mercury. It doesn't. You have to use DMPS or DMSA when you chelate and chlorella. So chlorella is the weakest of the chelators, but over time it works. So uh, they use alpha lipoic acid, vitamin high dose of vitamin C and, and Q10 to try and raise the function of the uh, mitochondria so that it makes enough ATP to charge up the cell wall to force the toxic metals out. Now, we do that with a magnetic pad, which does it much better, much thoroughly, because we raise the the function of the mitochondria, so it's making a lot more ATP. Instead of running at 60 millivolt differential on the cell wall, we're running up over 100 millivolt differential on the cell wall. And this happens within 20 minutes. So uh, it's a much, shall we say, more thorough way of getting mercury out of the brain. Matter of fact, uh, we've done a lot of work with autism, and we've shown that our method of using uh, chelation with a magnetic pad is far superior to anything anybody has uh, presently discovered. What happens when people buy the bed and then they have to travel? Does that mean that the nights that they are not on the bed, they can't sleep or... Is there a reverse horrible reaction? What has been your experience that people report? The longer they sleep on it, the better the effect lasts longer. In other words, say you're an arthritic and sleeping on the magnetic bed, you got rid of all your aches and pains and and you slept on it for uh, a couple of years and then you went away on vacation. Uh, towards the end of your vacation, if it was two or three weeks long, you begin to feel a little bit of pain coming back. So you get back on the bed and everything's good again. But there is no reverse action. It's just that you can slide back with some conditions. Now, things like MS and Parkinson's, you don't slide back but because it, that is you've grown new brain cells and repaired damaged uh, nerves. So there's two different things here, but there isn't this reverse action. Uh, the only reaction that people get from sleeping on the magnetic pad would be the detox reaction if they're not taking a chelating agent and if they have a high metal content in their body. Most people don't have that, but if you've had a lot of the melgum fillings, uh, you probably are loaded with mercury. And when you get on the magnetic vent, that mercury starts coming out into the bloodstream. And in the morning, you'll wake up with a headache, which goes away quite shortly. But that's uh, it's much better to not have the headache and take the DMSA and get the mercury out of your body and the lead out of your body and the cadmium, the nickel, and the arsenic and the all of those bad things, okay? Absolutely. You said that this bed also reduces snoring because it brings higher amounts of oxygen that saturate the blood. Is that correct? That's correct. We did quite a large study on 88 people in that uh, study, and we showed conclusively that, that your oxygen saturation goes up. What about for thyroid? There's been some studies about the impact on the thyroid. Do you want to speak about that? I'd be interested in that. Well, because the thyroid is used a great deal, it's one of the organs that's used a lot, like the brain and the heart. Uh, so it picks up mercury uh, faster than other parts of the body. Now, if you have a thyroid full of mercury, it's not functioning. And you need to take supplementary thyroid, but getting on the magnetic bed and taking a chelating agent, over time, you can clean that, that thyroid out. You have spoken at the anti-aging convention, correct? The That's right. A4M? That's right. And how were you received by them? Uh, the people in the audience, I was received very well by uh, the general, uh, shall we say, uh, people walking through uh, uh, 
look at it and say, how could this be? You know, sort of thing. But people that took the time to listen to the lecture, uh, and actually they were very receptive.